Welcome to another show. This week, we're going to look at the event that will ultimately kill the DCU. You're scared of me because you can't control me. You don't. And you never will. But that doesn't mean I'm your enemy. DCU's expiration date. Warner Brothers has 13 years left to milk their superhero lineup. The DC Universe is facing a looming threat as its flagship IPs, including Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, are set to enter the public domain in a little over a decade. Warner Brothers is working to reboot the DC Universe under the direction of James Gunn, with plans for 10 different projects to be released in the next three years. Once the DC characters enter the public domain, other studios will be able to create imitations and knockoffs, resulting in a saturated market, less money for everyone involved, and a lack of investment in the characters. Marvel may also face similar challenges in the future. The DC Universe, formerly the DCU, must end sooner than you'd expect. As lawyers point out, they were always against the odds. Warner Brothers flagship IP, the DC Universe, already a perpetually rocky affair, is stuck in a war against time it cannot win. That horrible ultimate fate looming just over the horizon? Public domain status. Why should we worry? Well, when was the last time you saw a good Alan Quartermain or Captain Nemo film? This is assuming you are old enough to remember Alan Quartermain, a seldom considered footnote in the cultural war for our superhero allegiances. DC and Marvel fanboys rarely factor in the legal aspect of the IP they love and how it will inevitably affect their favorite 1930s and 40s superhero protagonists. Further explained by copyright expert Larry Zerner at Business Insider, DC's murderer's row of characters, most notably Superman, 1938, Batman, 1939, and Wonder Woman, 1941, will, in a little over a decade, be up for grabs for anyone willing to give it a shot. Starting in the mid-30s, that's 2030s. Mind you, we know it sounds weird, the copyright for all of these comics will terminate 95 years from the first published date. If that didn't get the DC cast, Green Lantern, Lex Luthor, The Flash, Aquaman, Robin, Namor, and Catwoman are all set to expire in that same time period. Batman will at least have plenty of company on his lawn, dark journey into the licensing afterlife. Gal Gadot, Robert Pattinson, and whoever is going to be recast as the next Superman will suit up for what could be the last go-around under the WB banner. Right now, circumstances as they are, Warner Brothers is like a kid rushing to complete a late homework assignment before the teacher snatches it off of their desk. A lot is riding on getting it right, as James Gunn will attest. What does it all mean? It's hard to imagine Warner having any long-term commitment to the Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman characters. Any additions, characters, or plot lines added by DC after the public domain date will still be in Warner Brothers' possession, but the characters will not. Once other studios, domestic and foreign, can legally churn out all the imitations they desire, it will render the market sufficiently saturated or rather watered down. Knockoffs will become legal overnight. That translates into less money to go around for everyone, less expensive stars to play the characters, smaller budgets, and also entails a lack of general investment, as these films will probably be competing with rival productions with the same characters. Marvel ostensibly appears to have the upper hand in the ongoing superhero battle, even though they have had diminishing returns for the better part of five years. Also, it should be noted that Captain America enters the public domain in 2036, meaning he will soon see his own spate of low-budget cash grabs in the foreseeable future too, devaluing his cachet. However, DC will be hit the hardest. The demise of ultra-budget, tentpole, summer blockbuster cinematic events will not come with a whimper but a flurry, WB vowing to recoup whatever profit they can hope to seize in the waning days before the feeding frenzy nibbles the bones clean of whatever meat is left of their prestigious intellectual property. What will the future look like? Not that different from now, weirdly enough. Look no further than Winnie the Pooh or Mickey Mouse's countless knockoffs after the cartoon characters entered the public domain in the last few years. The doomsday clock is slowly counting down, and the WB execs aren't going to let the copyright lapse without wringing a couple more drops from that lemon. On the bright side, 
As long as you aren't an investor in Warner Brothers Discovery, this could play out in interesting ways. This doesn't mean that there will be an end to any successful WB film series when the IP enters the public domain, only the loss of exclusivity. Batman and Superman knockoffs are already so prevalent and have been for so many generations that they don't need an introduction. Outside the United States, Europe, and parts of Asia, copyright laws are more a theory than a strictly enforced law, with some very amusing and cheesy results. Should you want to see a glimpse into the year 2037, take a look at the glorious films of Turkish and Telugu, Indian, cinema, such as Superman Danyer and Nuda Mestri. If the Batman character can survive a Tollywood dance number, he's far from obsolete, but he certainly won't print money like he used to after January 1, 2035. As for WB, they'll need to look to their newer, ancillary characters to keep up with Marvel's Spider-Man and Wolverine. Good luck with that. If Sony, Blumhouse, I-24, or anybody for that matter, has a wild idea or radical reinterpretation, they will soon have free reign to let it rip. In the near future, we may very well see bootleg Batman, Captain America, and Zorro forming their own team of crime fighters, as clever reworkings, and deranged fan fiction alike, become reality. That was our show. What do you think? Will major superhero characters entering the public domain ruin these characters? Could it help them? Let me know in the comments and, while you're at it, I'd be honored if you subscribe to my channel, click the bell to stay informed and check out the Carl Vinson Vampire Hunter franchise also in the comments section. Until next time this is Axel and for Kevin Given saying live long and prosper, may the force be with you, and keep reaching for the stars.